Hello everyone, Teacher here and welcome back to another video. I am here to hit you with another ray of positivity, so if you're ready, let's take a closer look. So, a lot of stuff to cover today, I'll try to keep it as short as possible, but uh, let's start off with a lot of positivity and I want to start on a personal note and I want to start off in raids. We are currently well on track at the moment for chest 4, our first yet. We are in uh, chapter 3 and I want to start off with my own personal score because I got my second 900k and I got it with this one here. So Balin is going with the Rivendell Elves because that is just the easiest way to get it done. Can still take some attempts but I got it done, and then I went into my Gondor Ranger squad, there's still one Ranger here, and the only reason why Miri is not here with Miri in the squad, it can score around 650k, but what I really need at the moment is survivability, not that Halberat doesn't offer heal, but I just need a more tanky Denethor, Boromir, and Faramir, also Faramir because that means I can swap the... Um, the provoke around so you could say the marked from Denethor with his basic and Boromir can just tank all the way so I swapped in Nerimiri I did the same last week I was really pressed for time so I got 645 at my first run and I banked it I don't have any footage to show you today because it's been a long day and I'm tired so I didn't record it because honestly I just wanted to get my attempts done so I did that uh, my Haradrim uh well i might actually try this um uh, sleep with it here with charu i know his is level 60 so a little bit more level than mine but other than that pretty nice i'm scoring around here with a full haradrim haradrim full can maybe get to 500k so i'll definitely try this next time uh should be interesting also because there's a summon so yeah um shout out i could like this could actually have netted me my uh, last two Gandalf shards, I got to 2.865, I believe. Road to Rivendell, just basically need some ability investment, then we'll get that done. And then my leftover squad. So, that was basically what we got. Now I want to show you my personal scores. Um, so yeah, 2.865, not that far away. Uh, maybe if I had really been maxed every team, I could have gotten there, but it is what it is. Here, I got to 2.42, so that is really awesome. Uh, I had an increase, I got my second kill with um, Haratrum, and I'm going to show you something in Chapter 2 in just a moment. Another ray of positivity, actually, and here, uh, whoops, okay, that was the wrong one. Ah, it's because it keeps jumping back. Okay, one more, here we go. And here I swapped some stuff around and I got 4.152. I believe I covered this, but if I didn't, I basically took Eladen out of my um, Rivendell team. I'll show you that in just a... Uh, I'll show you that now. Then we'll go to chapter 2 because chapter 2 is not about me. Oh, by the way, Sleeper. He's the man. Um, let's find my teams. Where are they? Uh, Aradrim, 900k. I did know Miri in here. Uh, the heal actually did help a little bit, and then it was just getting the bombers down. And then Road to Rivendell, almost there. Yeah, I did cover it, and then over here. So, overall pretty good. And now I want to show you the main event. So that means for me, I am personally, at this moment, after three chapters, I am sitting at 9.4 uh, 9 million, so... With a little score increase, I can actually get to that 11 million goal that I had for 2023 in my first raid after 10 million. So, really cool. And now I want to show you something here. Look at this. For those who are still sad about goblins, that includes myself, there is a reason to build them. Like, this is uh, 7 stars on these. They're really full built. This is... Uh, six star and they're all gear nine but 900 did get them so yeah there's a squad out there that can do 900k so they do have some merit but they are a little bit weaker on the balrog so again pinch of salt can't help it but uh goblins can score 900k this was our first 900k in chapter two from the guild so that was pretty awesome 
So next thing I want to go into, uh, it's not updated, is actually the Supplies Weekly Store. They're going to change it in December. They're going to do Bulk, Groove of the Brute, and who was the last one? Can't remember. Uh, Bulk, Groove of the Brute, and ba -ba -bum. I honestly don't remember. Let me find it in the official Discord. Um, Biffer. So yeah, uh, if you are really, really impatient, differ, but honestly, save your gems. Another ray of positivity that's coming your way, however, is the fact that we can now in guild campaign farm Faramir, which is pretty great. Um, so I did pivot uh, from what I was doing. I was farming Gimli. I did pivot to Faramir and this was the first day. So um, basically 40 shards this is gonna be pretty awesome it means i can get my six and seven star in a few weeks i can get it before we actually get to 2024 that's really awesome for me i do get a lot of blue materials which i am in low supply of i am not getting as many shards here as i would want but I'm also working on Boromir. Now Boromir was at 60 out of 200 because I did spend some gems when he was in the normal main supply stores. And as I'm building up now and I will be farming Faramir with free refreshes a day for guild energy. If you do something like that or if you know you are planning long term ahead. I would implore you not to be impatient, but actually buy the 10, st uh, the 10 shard stacks. So hold on to it because the shop reach freshes once every fourth hour and you save 100 guild currency. Maybe it doesn't sound like a lot, but if we think about it in the long run, you actually will save quite an amount. And again, we can have 10 10k, so that is pretty... Um, it adds up also if you have other characters to build. Like for me, I have to build Biffer. Uh, let's look at Biffer actually first, and then I want to go to my Gondor squad. So Biffer here is actually at 200 out of 130. So yeah, um, that's pretty good and um, will be better. But I pivoted from, uh, from him. Like I did a lot of pivot this week. I did a pivot in my chapter one raid. I did a pivot in my chapter three raid and overall, Pivoting is the way to go, apparently. Um, so make sure you think about that. Oh, also, Bekelu, she got to um, uh, gear 9. I would actually say this was really, really massive for my um, chapter 2. Her poison land a lot more often, and that is what helped me across the line. So just short on that. Again, a lot of positivity here. I'm still sad about Thorin, but I am getting so many positive experience this game that honestly, at the moment, I'm like... Until I remember it, which I do right now, then who needs Thorin? But yeah, I would like to have had Thorin. So my squad here, uh, just really quickly, I farm uh, Sergeant Ara every day. She's almost at a five star. Now there is a reason to farm Sergeant Ara and Herondil, actually, if we think about it now, because now they've done opposite factions. Who is opposite of the Gondor factions if we were to go with a legendary? think you guys can figure it out but I'll let you think on it and then you can write it in the comments down below but there could be a good reason also I think this guy right here he might be moved to the challenge store so free to play they do have a way to get him but it will be taking a long time first shadow legendary might come out in February I would assume maybe March if they were to do it it depends how fast they want to do it the one year anniversary, who knows if that guy comes out at that time. Could be a way to go. Otherwise, Gondor, it's a solid chapter 3 team for you. And as you can see, this is one of the reasons some people are like, why are you building Gondor? Why are you so excited? Well, considering I built my Denethor like this, then I'm really excited about working on them. For the challenge store, I'm working on Tebeb. She will be 7 star in roughly 2.5 months, 2 months-ish. And it depends if any changes are coming to the store and if we can get uh, challenge tokens any way, like you never know. So he is um, ready to go. He will be the next one. Then we have Boromir here. As you can see, I need to level his abilities. Um, I've done into Haratrim and Road to Rivendell. 
After that, I will have three squats done. Then I will go over to Condor, and that will help me massively. Um, yeah, Fortitude here is actually quite uh, pretty nice. Now, this is interesting, and I want to mention this to CG in case any one of them were ever listen listening. Um, why is it that Fortitude on Boromir and the Fortitude from uh, Tibeb's passive only is 25% when there's other fortitudes in the game that is 50% such as Sam. I would like to know why some fortitudes are 25% and others are 50% because it makes no sense to me. Even if there's an argument then call make up a new ability call it something else because everything should be 50% and this means don't nerf the ones at 50 down to 25 inc instead buff it. Yo, was that after Thorin? Um, here, the weekend is actually pretty nice. This uh, has a lot of usages, and this one is really great with Faramir. Also, it grants him Eagle Eye, so even if blinded, really great. Uh, Faramir, this one does an amazing amount of damage. So, and he is the one when I do finish my road to Rivendell. Maybe not finish, but when I finish them doing the raid squad that I want them to do. And I will probably have them finished at that time. Then I will go into Faramir. And I will probably go into this one first for the Cave Troll to have a slow two-turn cooldown. Um, this one could also be a thing, but not really. I would say I will actually do these two. And the reason why I will do them is because this one is for his um, assist mechanic when he stealth it. When he attacks an enemy with a Bane. That helps in chapter 1. Uh, 2 and chapter 4 also just helps everywhere basically when he stealth it and this one for the two turn slow so it does help me um, getting some score there so that was my Gondors and honestly yeah I'm pretty positive uh, tomorrow I will hope I can eke out that last little bit that I need to get a uh, uh, to get to that 11 million because then my goal is actually done for this year in rates not that I won't uh, push harder because we want to challenge for that chest uh, for we should get it but we uh, otherwise we will be really really close so DK crew let's get it and yeah I'm working on Frodo at the moment overall things are good after Frodo I'll probably go into Mary uh, no, actually not Mary. I did say Mary, but I actually meant I will probably go into Pippin for his Dispel Booms, his Heal, and his Might, and also this one, uh, so he cleanses some Banes. Never know who gets cleansed, but it is nice to have. Nera Miri, she's doing great for me. Miri, I'll also want to build up. I still think Gondor Ranger has a lot of merit. I just need to have the abilities leveled. And Charu? I'll definitely try that next chapter 3 that I just saw from Sleeper. And what else? Oh yeah, Nuras might be a plug and play, but the problem with a Nuras plug and play is actually you need level 6 on this ability. I'm really curious about the work that they have announced. That should be really, really interesting. So we will have a full Misty Mountain. And I did see they mentioned the word tank. And that should be really interesting because a tank... Uh, these two have some uh, provoke and uh, taunt stuff. So, but if you get an actual tank, and then you have like he's a damage dealer, he's glass tank, he's a damage dealer, and like you have a lot of way of swapping provoke around and marked. Um, if you think about it, so I'm really curious about that. Also, the fact is that you will have this troll, then you will have the stonebreaker you can summon. Uh, this guy, he can do a lot of damage, uh, he can get some kills. So, I'm really thinking a lot. I'm still farming my dwarves every single day, but I am looking at maybe a potential fifth squad elsewhere or some plug and play. So, yeah, a lot of positivity. Let me know your thoughts in the comment down below, perhaps leave a like on this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good day.